Right. Yeah, look at that. Good morning and welcome back to Muddy Feet. Today I'm finally back in Kiri Kiri and I'm joined with this mischief fella right here. Smells like absolute mischief in the air. <laughs> How's it going in this one over here too? Yeah, mission's on today. We're going to head out in the Kiri Kiri Harbour and hopefully get ourselves a good feed of oysters. Right, mission's on boys. Yeah, we're hungry. We're hungry. Cody had a few nice easy oyster spots in mind that were pretty handy to the boat ramp where we launched so in no time at all we were pulling up to the first spot deploying the anchor and heading off on a bit of a wander in search of some fat creamy pacific oysters. Oyster mission's on! Bro, it's a start. Creamy ears, look at that. White all the way through. The Pacific oysters are fat and creamy at the moment because they're just about to spawn. I had to give them a little bit of a taste test and it turned out that the first dozen didn't even make it into the bucket. But that's no need to worry up here because the recreational limit for gathering Pacific oysters is 250 which is a pretty crazy number. Nobody should ever really need 250. Today we will be taking about 40 oysters each and that's to feed a larger group of us later on this evening. Honestly I just wanted one more feed of real fat creamy oysters before the season was over so I'm pretty happy about this. Just a little mission. Look at that big beast bro, that's quite well hidden. That's a big oyster there. Give it a tap tap bro. Yep. Yeah, look at that, bro. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now we're talking. That's all up. Bro, good times. Bro, I'm going to get fat before we get back to the boat. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I've been wanting to do an oyster mission for so long. Look at this. Yum. Oh, that's beautiful. You might have noticed we're not exactly wearing the most appropriate footwear, especially considering that oysters are pretty sharp and dangerous. I would recommend wearing some old sand shoes or gum boots. But this is what we had today and we got away with it. So far we've managed to gather about two dozen oysters for the bucket and we've had a pretty good taste test. But Cody reckons he knows a spot where they'll be even bigger and more plentiful. So pile back onto the boat and off we go to destination number two. Oh, some nice ones out here, eh? Yo, that there is a beauty. You can use all sorts of different tools to remove Pacific oysters. I've seen everything from screwdrivers, spatulas, spoons and hammers. But I like to use this little short knife. It's blunt and if I do slip up, it won't go through my hand. I should really also be wearing gloves. Oysters are pretty sharp and you might have noticed I actually managed to slice my knuckle open on one pretty early on in this video. Solid ones, eh? Oh, yeah. That happens, eh? You gotta eat them. <laughs> it's the only option, eh, bro? Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, look at those. 
I use a pretty simple technique to remove the oysters from the rock. I put the point of the knife on the edge where the oyster joins onto the surface of the rock. I apply a little bit of pressure and give it a wriggle to drive the blade underneath the oyster and they usually pop off the rock nice and whole. Sometimes the oysters break off in big clumps like this one, which is perfectly fine. It's just important to remember to single the oysters down. Now, singling them down is using the knife to break off the smaller overcatch oysters because they all still count towards your total tally. You don't want to accidentally go over your limit with all these little extra ones that are just hanging on. These are like nice deep half shellies too. Yum. Ah, some beauties. Look at that, bro. What a beast. Nice deep ones. Look at that bad boy. Up a little morsel. Mmm. Real McCoy. I feel like that's pretty pretty much mission completed, brother Steph. Not bad harvest, we're the rest of other fish that we want. One part of the mission completed pretty easily, bro. Shopping spots. The Kazi Blue. Can I stop me for a bit, I'm going to get us up. Yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, bro. Keen on some kinners. How's it blue? This is the pro blue. And they're grabbing the feed. Two kinners in there, bro. Oh, you little one there, eh? Yep. Yeah, there's a few around, though. He's getting a feed anyway. The sister, she's already smashed the first sack back. <laughs> Bro's had to jump in for a second sack because he reckons the sister's already eaten the first sack on the beach over there. Hopefully we can find a few for a feed as well. It's kinder time. Oosh, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Let's have a little look. Yeah, that's allowed. It's that's allowed, allowed, bro. It's definitely acceptable. Beautiful. Good mahi, bro. Well done. Woohoo! Spiky, go! 
Swako's starting to look even better. Catch you later, Blue. Jump out. Boat's back on the trailer. It's been a pretty awesome day on the water. Let's have a little sneaky peek, peek preview at these kinders. The one I looked at before was all right. Boy, there's nothing wrong with that, bro. It's a bit of color in there. Definitely a taste test. Nice. Not bad, eh? Bit of a taste. Yum. Mm. We cruise back to Steph's place and I get to shucking oysters while he prepares some bacon, parsley and grabs some of his fancy soy sauce because today we're going to be having oysters Kilpatrick. Bring it in. 
me poser. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode and as always, thank you for watching. If you like my content, remember to like, subscribe and hit the little notification bell. That way they'll let you know as soon as I drop something new. Cheers and tight lines.